بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وبعد the night, the night of the 28th of the month of شوال so it is remaining one day or two for the month after Shawwal, which is what? What's the month after Shawwal? Ismail? Yes, Dhul Qa'ada. Dhul Qa'ada is the month after the month of Shawwal. And after Dhul Qa'ada, you have Dhul Hijjah, which will be the, the Eid uh, Al Udhiyya, right? <coughs> so tonight, Bi'idhillah. Continuing the reading of Usulu Thalatha, the three fundamental principles by authored by Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, the reviver, and explained by Sheikh Salih al Fawzan, Hafizahullah, one of the major scholars of our time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him tawfiq and give him a long life upon that which he is pleased and happy with. Amin. So we were reading the issue of the Maratibud Din, the Maratibud Din, the levels of al of the religion. And in it, he mentioned that the Maratibud Din, they are three: al Islam, the levels of the religion is al Islam, and after that al Iman. And we dealt with the issues of al Islam as far as the pillars of al Islam. And the definition of Islam, and that which is to make the Islam's someone's Islam to be valid, someone's Islam to be valid. That someone's Islam to be valid necessitate four matters, Adam. Somebody's Islam necessitate to be valid necessitate four matters. Right. To submit to the Tawheed of Allah, number two. To appeal to the obediency of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing his command and refraining from his prohibition, number three. To refrain yourself from shirk, to stay away from shirk. And number four, and to refrain, to refrain from the people of shirk. Ahsanta, very good. So the Islam of a person will not be enough except these four matters are, are there. The Islam of a person is not correct except that he has to have these four matters. If a person doesn't submit to the Tawheed of Allah, there is no Tawheed, there is no Islam. If a person worships other than Allah, there is no Islam. Tayyip. And likewise, the Maratibul Deen, from the levels of the religion, as we mentioned in Islam, after giving the definition of Islam, I, and he mentioned the Martabatu Athaniya, the second level, the second level of the religion, which is Al Iman, which is the belief. And he mentioned, Barakallah Fikum, that the belief, as he say, wa huwa bid'un wa sab'una shu'bah. It is of 70 odd branches. For Allah, the higher of them is what, Uthman? The higher of them is what? Uthman. That's good. The higher of them is what? The high, yes, La ilaha illallah. Very good, yeah. The higher of them is La ilaha illallah. Wa adinaha, the lowest of them? 
right removing removing a harmful object from the from the from the pathway طيب and there is something that is from al iman that he mentioned ismail al haya'u min al iman that having shyness is from from belief <coughs> and we'll come to that a bidr is between 3 and 7 but we'll come to that bidr right the word bidr the word bidr is <coughs> referring between huh same thing same thing <coughs> so he mentioned that the highest of them is the highest of iman is the statement of la ilaha illallah and the lowest of them is removing a harmful object from the from the pathway and he said that shyness is from belief but what is al iman what is Al-Iman, Aba Munira? Ma ma'ana Al-Iman? Barakallah. What is Al-Iman? Ma ma'ana Al-Iman? What is Iman? Huh? Why? Believe in Allah, Aba Ibrahim. Ma ma'ana Al-Iman? Ma ma'ana Al-Iman? ما معنى الإيمان؟ What is إيمان؟ أبو بكر، أبا أحمد، Yes. ما معنى الإيمان؟ إسماعيل، أحسنت. The first of all is that you got to define what you're talking about. So الإيمان لغة. Right? Lughatan. Now, from in the perspective of the language, what is Al-Iman? And then after that, you come to the, the Sharia. What is Al-Iman? This is, this is exactly what I was looking for. Right? That to break it down, Al-Iman, in regard to the, to the language. And after that, you have Al-Iman in regard to the, to the Sharia. Ahsantum. So, Al-Iman, in the language, it means, Ismail? At-Tasdiq. What is Al-Qasd? Lughatan. Al-Qasd. Ma ma'ana Al-Qasd? Lughatan. What is Al-Qasd? Huh? No, in Lughatan, in the Arabic language. There is something that means Al-Qasd in the Arabic language. <coughs> Abba Ibrahim? Huh? No. Uh, Al-Qasd. Al-Qasd. Right? In the Arabic language, this is the meaning of Al-Hajj. Al-Hajj. The Hajj in the Arabic language, it means Al-Qasd. The Arabic, the word Al-Hajj in the Arabic language, it means Al-Qasd. We pass that. Let's go back a little bit. When he mentioned what the Dalilul Hajj. Page number 113. Page 113. At the very top of it. He say, Al-Hajj. Now, Ma'adhira, let's go back to page 112. At the very bottom. He say, Hajj ma'anahu fi al-lugha al-qasd. Hajj ma'anahu fi al-lugha al-qasd. So, the qasd, barakallahu feekum, is the meaning of al-hajj in the in the Arabic language. <coughs> طيب. So now when you talk about al-hajj in the Sharia, this is the al-qasd fi bayt Allah al-haram. It is to intent the ritual, uh, the pilgrimage of the hajj ritual in the ancient house of Allah subhanahu wa taala. طيب. 
طيب so al iman in the Arabic language it means the intent the intent المعذرة the affirmation the affirmation this is the meaning of iman in the Arabic in the Arabic language right it means affirmation to affirm something right to affirm something at tasdiq or al iqrar to affirm something but when you come now to al iman in the sharia al iman in the sharia right al iman in the sharia abdul jalil statement of the tongue belief of the heart actions of the limbs It increases by way of act of obedience to Allah and it decreases by way of act of disobedience to Allah. And this is the definition of Al Iman Inda Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, these are the five points that they define Iman statement of the tongue, belief of the heart, actions of the limbs, increases by Obedience to Allah decreases by disobedience to Allah. Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'a, this is what they see as being Al Iman. This is what they define Iman in the Sharia. And we mention also Al Iman wal Islam. Al Iman wal Islam, Muhammad. Al Iman wal Islam. If they are together, what would be the, the meaning of Al Islam? The meaning of Al-Islam. Huh? Right, what would be the meaning of Al-Islam? Islam is going to be the same. I mean, if they come together, it's separate. If they come separate... No, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say that. I already say clearly. If they are together... What is the meaning of Al Islam? <coughs> Don't say separate, because I already separated it for you. If they come together, they're in the same same place. Islam and Iman. Abu Zura. Islam is the actions of the body limbs. Islam will be the actions of the the outwardly actions. And Al Iman will be? Ahsanta and Iman will be the inward actions. So if Islam and Iman, Muhammad, they are together in one verse or in one hadith, Islam will mean al amal al zahira the outwardly actions. Let's say praying, <coughs> fasting, throwing the jamarat, and the likes of this. And Iman will mean the actions of the heart. The actions of the heart. <coughs> Right? Alhamdulillah. The actions of the heart. Baha, give me one of the examples of the actions of the heart. One of the examples of the actions of the heart. Like, no, shahada you say with your tongue. <coughs> like we, when you say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah, right? This is what your tongue says. Intention. Very good. No, intention itself. Very good. Intention. It is the actions of the heart. Very good point. Because intention is not something that the person will say. Saying the intention is what? It's a, it's an innovation. Saying the intention with your tongue will result to be an innovation. Toyib, another example of the actions of the heart on the back. <coughs> Okay, say fear. Just say fear. Just say fear. Fear. Fear is the act of the heart. Right? Fear is the act of the heart. If you wanted to say yaqeen, conviction, yes, that's what the heart do also. What else, Abdullah? Ahsanta, love. Loving. So therefore, hating also is the actions of the heart. Uthman. Another action of the heart.